Hello, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing? How's everyone doing? And it is hot as hell outside. I'm telling you, um, it is crazy, but they did say last night that, um, well, I don't know what they said. I know all of a sudden it got windy and crazy outside. I woke up and my umbrella was all messed up. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to have to remember to put my umbrellas down because that wind was treacherous. All right. But anyway, how we are all doing this lovely day? Okay. I got to take my vitamins, honey, all the time for my bones and everything else. All right, Pisces, thank you for all those who are here and who come here. The new ones, the old ones, if you want to open up that third eye, this is the right place to be. I'm all about um, teaching you that you are the best day ever. Today is the best day ever. Honey, do you understand? You are numero uno and you need to understand that you're numero uno. And if you don't know, you numero uno, honey, you better get going with the party. Because it ain't no party like your party. I mean, you're number one. Do you understand? It ain't no number above you. It ain't no... Let me tell you something. You're number one. And if anything, you should know there's only one over you. And that is the universe. But, yeah. Remember that, Pisces, okay? Now, if anybody... Um, go on to my web page, all right, and my information is at the bottom. And you like to purchase my Black Magic Spellbreaker candle. Remember, if you turn that candle out and it's and it's fixed, it's not going to work the same, okay? You can't just turn a candle on and off, on and off. You can't do that, right? This is the Abundant Prosperity Healing Growth for Fertility candle, okay? This is the Love Yourself candle. And y'all already know how to get down with the justice, all right? Make sure you see the way your candle is burning. Make sure that you see if it's dark, if it's if it's cloudy. If the glass bursts, whatever it is, look at all of that. If the fire is, is high, is it low, um, can you not turn it on and off, which it won't. Does it just go out and don't want to come on? You need to look at all of that because that is the reason why it's doing that. This is a sage, my sage, and it comes with two Palo Santo, but I always write on my bay leaves, and my bay leaves are nice. And you can see that I always write on this one here, you know what I mean? Then I burn it and send it to the universe. This is the walnut, which is good for if you're working with your shadow, and we that's like the hermit. So we all need to work with our shadow. All of us, and ain't nobody in the world that is not working on a shadow. Because if you are, you must be a saint, and I'll be damned. If you are a saint, we're not saints, okay? This is my oils. My oils form, my oils come in oils and in, and in dry form. So if you want to use it for anything, soap, shower gels, shampoo, whatever, conditioner. Um, if you don't want to use it and you need to use it as something dry, you can also get them in dry form. Okay, these are my jewelry. I'm big on my evil eye. I'm big on my chakras. I'm big on um, Art Michael and Jonah R. But most of all, I am big on the boss. It's upstairs, baby. All right, these are my crystal that I come with. It has all kinds of crystal for every part of your body, whether it's a stone or a crystal. Okay, so just know that. Also, this is my detox spiritual salt bath. And if you don't know, try it. You'll like it, okay? This is the ultimate awesome. Um, it's not um, it's not um, Epsom salt. It's nothing. It's not Epsom salt. Totally different, okay? I also have herbs in a bag, okay? Herbs in a bag. So, um, if you don't have a tub and you have a shower, you can still... Use the herbs in the shower. I don't know what is on my shirt. Um, I don't know what is on this shirt. What the hell is on my shirt? I don't know what it is. Um, but anyway, let's get down with the reading. Okay. Pisces, I love y'all. I love y'all to pieces. I really do. Um, what I wanted to do was 
pull out a, let's see, let's pull out a card. Let's pull out a card. Let's, let's find out what, what it's telling you. Let's find out what it's saying so we can start off this reading. I don't know which one to use. Uh, what is this? Uh, all right, we can try these. It says, what is the T? What is the T? So let's find out what is the T. All right. <clears throat> all right, Pisces. Let's find out what is the T. <clears throat> all right. Spirits, so tell me what is the T. Extra target. Extra. Okay, so it's something here that is burning. All right, it's burning, baby. When I tell you burning, it's in flames. Extra. Some people are extra, extra. All right, some people are real extra with themselves. Pisces, uh, don't get too extra, people. Jackpot, win money, get rich, inheriting unexpected money, honey. And keep that to your business, to yourself. All right? Some people are very extra, very extra. You need to keep your business to yourself. Look at this, honey. I love this one. Cut blocker. Yeah, they, they like to they like to block you. All right. And it says, um, you you look like you're looking at all these. Somebody's looking at um card readings. Somebody uh reads tarot. Read um. Somebody reads tarot, somebody watches a lot of tarots, all right? Somebody um, somebody can be like uh, Pisces, can be like I'm watching tarot. Somebody knows that you watch tarot and they feel like you're too much into your tarot or they, may, they might feel like you're gaining information that they don't want you to know through tarot. But um, Pisces, it's like, Keep your business to yourself. Okay. Um, somebody feel like um you watching tarot is like um like you come at them with all kinds of stuff that you listen to, okay? Um, but you get your information through a tarot reader, tarot cards, all right. Um, maybe you throw your own cards out, maybe you the one that um you know, read your own cards, all right? Uh, the message from the heart. The message from the heart. Tell me about this message from the heart. Twin Flames, you don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. They higher selves want union as much as you do. Look like somebody's on fire. And maybe either you're going to meet a person or you already have a person that you feel like that's your twin flame. And you can, um, you know, like you can get along with this person. You have a twin flame can be somebody that you think of now or it can be somebody in your next lifetime. But don't wait on no twin flame if you think, oh, well, but I want them and they got to be my man. That's, that's the person I'm going to die. No. No, you don't stop living for no twin flame. You move on. And whatever's meant to be, it's going to be. A breakthrough. They are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance. Expect communication real soon. And I say, if you have a twin flame, all right, a twin flame is not saying um, you can, you can, you shouldn't wait on no twin flame to come because you don't know if they're going to be coming now or coming in the next lifetime you don't know so you can't just sit there and wait on somebody but it's saying that it's a light bulb here a big old light it ain't a little one it's huge and it's saying it's a breakthrough there's a plan right now to come they're planning to, they are planning to come to you right now all right for a second chance expect some type of communication all right, but it's a twin flame. So a twin flame again means that it could be now, it could be 
uh, in this lifetime or in the next lifetime, but it's not telling you when. But this is saying they're making plans right now to come to you uh, for a second chance. All right? So expect communication. All right? So, hey. Okay? So, hey. All right? You got two cards that fell out. Um, potential. Their deepest, their deep in their own thoughts about you. Realizing their distance, all right, from seeing you. They, it's like they, um, you're not with this person, all right, but they wanted to see you. They want to see you, but you, I don't know if you're at a distance or you're not speaking, okay, or they feel like, or you feel like, I don't know, like somebody here is feeling like somebody is blocking them from seeing you or um, it's something in a way here. But somebody is watching a lot of tarots, all right? Frequency. They are aligning to their frequency of love and operation at the highest frequency vibration with openness to receive, honey. Like you are on your higher level here to receive it. But you got somebody that's blocking something or... Um, date with somebody that they can't get with you because it's something here that's blocking y'all. But like I said, somebody's here is watching a lot of YouTube or do tarot or got a reading or something. But somebody wants to come. But Pisces, um, I'm trying to get another deck. They may want to come to you, right? But they thinking about coming to you, all right? It's like maybe y'all two ain't speaking, all right? Maybe y'all at a distance. Maybe they can't get out. Maybe they can't get in touch with you. There's something here that's blocking two people from being together. Okay? Somebody or something is blocking two people from meeting up or seeing each other. I don't know. But somebody here is in the middle. All right? Tell me more. Tell me more. Ooh, the death call. The relationship is over. No second chance. Mm. Grown and transform. With death, with death is death. What is death is death. Like it ain't, you're not you're not thinking about going back to this person. Like you're done with it. Like it ain't no second chance. You're not giving this person, even though they think you are the twin flame, a second chance, even though they thinking about you and wanting to come to you, you're saying, I, I just, it's just, this is like a, a distraction in your life. Okay, um, like I said, I, a girl with a snake, okay, charming or using, okay, boundaries. I just believe there is something here is in the middle. And somebody is being sneaky. Love. Unconditional love. Self-love. Wholesome. Affection. Attraction. Selfness. Selfishness. I just feel like this. I don't know. Either either they feel like you being sneaky. Like you charming. Use. Enable. Boundaries. Like. Or they feel like um, it's unconditional love. But. Pisces, I feel like you feel like it's an ending. It's something here just doesn't feel right to you, all right? Even though you may care for somebody, it's, it's not like you head over heels because I just feel like this person is, you just feel like something ain't right, okay? You just know it, all right? It, like, you know it and you feel it, all right? And I, like I said, somebody's getting reading, somebody's watching YouTube, or somebody can be a tarot card reader themselves and sense it all. All right, like, mm -mm. it's like, make it make sense. That's what you're saying. Make any of this make sense because I'm not stupid. All right, that's what you're saying, right? It says, um, the dragon, the lighthearted adapts, finding out and change things coming to the light. And you heal from it. 
I'm going to say it again. Either you found out something, you feel like something is not right, and you feel like it's an ending. Like, I cannot do this. I cannot live like this. Just, it's like somebody here is, like, just, they don't even know how to play their cards. Like, you, you find things, you know things about them. Like, it's like you feel it. It's like a trigger that is just like somebody, it's like somebody carrying a gun, right? And at any given time, they're going to pull the trigger, right? But anything can spark this up. Anything can spark it up. But it's like it's something here that just doesn't feel right to you. And like you feel like, I know what's going on. And you're changing. It's like overnight. Like somebody here is just not the same, right? And you know they're not the same. All right. But Pisces. You may love somebody. You may feel like they're your twin flame, but you can't sit and wait for somebody to change. You can't say today they're going to change, tomorrow they're going to change. Things are going to be... You can't say that because you never know. You never know a person. Like, this person, you may not see this person till... I don't know. You might not never see them again. You might, not, you might see them in another lifetime. All right? They might come to you 20 years later. I don't know. All right, but it's like it has to be an ending here because it's like this relationship is over. Ain't no second chance. It's like you grown and you transformate to seeing um, them for who they are. Like you, they just, mm -mm, they too much. But that doesn't mean that you don't love them. It just means that it's too much is too much. All right, so you got the four of pentacles. Keeping secrets. Not telling you things. All right? The four of cups. Having it all, but bored and frustrated and need a change, need excitement in your life. Somebody here is keeping a secret. And you might feel, or whoever this person is keeping a secret, may feel like they bored. Right? Um, they need some excitement. All right? But you feel like somebody is keeping a secret. In the meantime, you're like, shit, man, I'm fucking bored as fuck, and I'm not excited with this person at all. But, I mean, I don't know what they're keeping a secret or keeping something to themselves because um, you know, Pisces, you know there ain't no love there. So that's why you looking elsewhere or fucking feeling excited about something else because these people are too sneaky and they're very secretive, and so are you. All right, tell me more. Tell me more. Oh, come on, spirit. Stop now. It's an ending, and it's got to be an ending here. It's it's ending. I'm moving on, Pisces. You're like, should I end? And I'll tell you, I end it. I end it. I don't care how much I love you. I end this. It's like, there's a draw line, and I mean, I think that it done crossed over. Like, it ain't no coming back. All right. But the highest priest, like, you know what you know, Pisces. Like, you know it's time to move on from this. You, It's like you know shit. Like, you know. It's like you know so much about this person and you don't say shit. It's like you can really air somebody out, but you ain't saying shit. Like, you know you, what you know. Like, it, it, it can't be hidden what you know, right? Now, Pisces. As you move on to common place, you get the empress. And that's when you become, you get this masculine part of you. It's like you handle shit. All right? Um, and then you get the nine of cups, Christmas and July. All right? You get everything you want. Because you're coming into this masculine, like, I'm not putting up with your shit. You, you can't always be feminine and give people what they want and, and treat. No, because it's like, I know what I know. You're not going to make me think I'm crazy or stupid or like I'm delusional. Oh, I know what I know. And Pisces, this person act like what you know, you know. Like, you know it. You got receipts. You know it. Okay? They can't lie. But, like, you really like, you know what? I'm really not going to pull they, all their cards. I'm just letting them. It, here and there. But what I know, I know. And you, you're you not going to make me think I'm crazy or delusional. No, I know. So I got to come into this masculine, this, and I need to be the leader of whatever it is because, baby, you can't walk over me and think you can't. 
all right and so when you become this emperor right you get this then you get the feminine and the masculine part of you and then you get what you want because it's like i got this like i gotta go somewhere to have fun and feel excited because you make me feel like I want to throw up because of, oh, because the things you know about to make you gas, make you want to throw up. Like, oh my God, what? It's like the thought of what they're doing and how, whatever you, it's like makes you sick to your stomach. And so you get the masking part with saying, you won't be playing with me no more because I'm going to move on and I'm going to get everything I want. And when you do that, you moving on because you got a second wheel here. All right, you moving on, honey. It's like a motor, and a motor is saying, "Come on, we need to get going. Don't, don't try to control this shit. Move on." It's like Pisces. You know how you've been, like you've been going with the flow. You just go with the flow. Now it's like the flow. Shit, you said the flow. Um, I'm high ties right now. High ties. That means if you come my way, um. And you can't swim or you try to fight me. It's like you the hot. It's like you are current right now. So if they come in and jump on you while you was first, you was going with the wave. You just going with the wave. Nothing about. But now you are the current. It's like, come on in here. Come to me and see if your ass don't drown because you play too much. Like you like, yo, you want to play with me? You don't want to test my skills, baby. Because if you test my skills, you're going to lose. Because once the love ain't dead and love is lost, now you're going to get the side of me that you never thought you was going to see. All right? So you got a lot of love, but this person better stop playing because Pisces is not playing with you, cross watchers. Pisces is not playing with you. Okay, somebody gave me this, send it to me. They know that I like anything. See, I don't play with lighters. I, I need, I need like a, uh, everything I got, it's got to be like, you know, like the torch. I don't want to be flip, flip, flip. I want the torch. All right? There is lead even when it's windy. Torch that bitch up. What? Yeah, I'm not, you ain't going to play light my shit. My shit is going to be lit. For sure. All right? It's like. I don't know what somebody did. They done lit your torch, honey. And, they ain't lit. and I'm going to say it again. Your torch is lit in a whole different way. And like, they playing with fire. Okay? They playing with fire. Y'all better cross watch it. Y'all better know Pisces. Don't, don't, don't do it. Look at this. Again, you got somebody hiding shit. Being sneaky. Hiding money. Hiding their possession. I mean, they hiding shit from you. Right? Because they feel like you got everything you need. I don't need to give you no more. I don't need to give you shit. That's how they feel. Like you have, you, you got enough. They don't have to give you shit. And all, you like, damn it, you know what? This motherfucker here, I need to get some excitement. This motherfucker is boring me to death. All right? I need to be where I can move and I can groove. Because it's like somebody here is being so sneaky. Hiding their money. Hiding all their possessions. And if you want to take somebody for their money, they hiding shit from your ass. All right? And shit, you in La La Land, they hiding shit. You got the food, so you're like, all right, I can move on. But somebody here wants to take a leap of faith. Even though they don't know, or, or you're going to take this leap of faith after this death, moving on. And um, the highest priest is like, shit, been there, done that. All right, been there, done that. But been there and done that may be the things are, are closing off and now you want to see. But you ain't going to see till you get there. All right? You may want to take a leap of faith. Right? But I'm trying to tell you, whoever this person is, is hiding shit from you and doing all kinds of dumb shit to you. Somebody want to take a leap of faith with you. But remember, they hiding shit from you. So, a lot of shit has been here. They got jewelry, money, all oh, nice, sneaky as hell. Oh my God, Pisces, stop playing. They playing too many games. Who is playing like this? Um, and let me tell you something, Pisces. The will of fortune, you, you, you can't just, you know what I mean? Because I'm going to say something. If, if you give this person the time to come back to you, right? And they're hiding shit from you. They're walking away from you don't mean shit. Because look at them. Who's crying? 
Who's crying? You. All right? When you know you can do better. But this is what happens when people constantly want to go back and go back and go back and go back. That's why I say, when you keep going back to people that don't fucking really want you, right? Don't want you because think about it. If you know everything about a person, you 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 pulling their cars out, you all act together, but you pulling their car, but you got, but you want them back because no matter what, baby, you going back to the past. That means to the dark doors. When you can do good by yourself, that's the thing. Like you can have everything you want by yourself. You don't need to like keep looking back. What you keep looking back for? Like, I'm going to say something. Can you drive your car backwards all the way to where you're going? In a regular, in a regular, in a regular street. Because you're going to get in an accident, right? You can back up, but you ain't going to drive all the way backwards. All right? That's too much work. Right? That is the same thing. Can you ride your bike backwards? Why do you, do you walk backwards? Try to walk back and back and back. Try it, right? It's like, how many times do you got to try hard? Because now you're trying hard to move things around, going backwards. Like, when are you going to get enough of giving somebody chances at chances? And all they do is walk around, act like you ain't shit. When? Because I, I, it's like you feel like, in this lifetime, this is what I want. Twin flame. A twin flame... Is there to teach you lessons. But guess what? It ain't no guarantee. It ain't no guarantee. Okay? That can that it may come, it may never come. Not in this lifetime, maybe in the next one. Um, sisterhood. The value of true sisterhood is is priceless. The support and guidance of someone, sister, or female friend whether physical or spiritual, should be considered. Now, I'm trying to tell you, I try to explain to you, everything that I see, all right? You can be in love with somebody, they can be in love with you, but it's not the right time, all right? You can't make somebody be who they don't want to be. You can't tie somebody up if they don't be tied up, all right? You can't do it. So you need to understand, ghosting, the, com the communication between you and someone seems not assisting. Oh, shit. Don't allow this moment to tense your dating life while with others. Don't allow somebody that's ghosting you, right, to move on with your life and put everybody in the same category. Because everybody's not in the same category. Okay. But somebody is ghosting your ass. And then you saying, nope, I got to let it, all the everybody. Cause, and it's a thing with Pisces. It ain't like we look at everybody the same. You can't, I don't know. I had somebody tell me on my YouTube, but I'm not everybody. You're not everybody? All right, well, I don't, I don't know how to say it, but. You're not everybody, right? But it depends on which way you're coming to me. It depends on your conversation and where you're going with your conversation with me. That's the thing, right? Because most of the times when I do readings, or somebody call me for a reading, they talk to me about them. They're not talking to me about me. That's kind of strange to me when somebody want to talk about me. That's strange because whatever it is, Pisces, no one thing, and I want y'all to understand this and really get it through your head. I'm straightforward. Very straightforward. And I know the difference between salt and sugar. Okay? And I'm reading you. I 
carry you. And when I feel like you trying to know me in a different level, a whole different level, and I don't mean reading you, doing your readings, you know, you talking to me about whatever it is. I'm talking about on a different fucking level. I love, and I'm going to tell you right now, you need to understand, I love me, myself, and I, and one thing I am, I am straight. I was born Lisa Ramos. I'm a die Lisa Ramos. I don't change who I am. I'm sure of myself. And I'm straight. Okay. Get it. Get it right through your head. Somebody here is getting a lot of message from me or whoever. Whoever you want to listen to. But about somebody here that ghosting you with the communication. Changing up on you. You know, they just changing up on you. And they saying, don't treat everybody the same. But damn, I don't treat everybody the same. But when you acting kind of shaky. I mean, I don't know what to think because I don't know what to say to you. I mean, I hope I'm not giving somebody miss signals here. I hope I don't give nobody no mixed signals about who I am and what I like. Because if I'm giving you mixed signals about who I am and what I like, I'm strictly dickly. And I don't think I'm giving nobody strict signals. Uh, you know, mixed signals. I know that for a fact. So, I don't know what, I don't know, but, I mean, like, this, like shit, man, I gotta light up my Palo Santo, or I gotta get, um, you know, um, spray, bug spray, the, the spray the fuck off of me. Cause I don't get down like that. I'm straightforward. And I don't think it's nothing wrong with everybody else. I don't know. I'm telling you what I am. Come to me, Readings come to me about what's going on in your life. Please, 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 please do not get me all confused and discombined because I truly, truly love me some man. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. Now, now I let it out. Now you know. All right. Ain't got no sugar in this tank, baby. None. I'm straight. I'm a straight. I love me some men. And that's all I got to say. Because somebody got me confused. And I don't know what y'all like, but I know what I like. And I don't mean for somebody to hey, I'm talking about somebody going on a whole nother level with me. Don't do that. Because I don't even answer you. I don't even acknowledge you. Double dating. Going on a double date may be more different. More affected as, um, as a passion in getting to know each other. That means somebody here might like to go double date and have fun with other people. I don't know. You know, um, grow your relationship. Um, keep things exciting. So maybe somebody likes to take you out, show you off. All right. Maybe you go out with their friends and, you know, whatever. But somebody here is ghosting you. So maybe the double dates y'all used to do or go out and do things. Maybe they don't want to do it with you no more. Maybe they don't want to be seen with you no more. Maybe they don't want to take you out no more. Maybe they change in the way the routines that they do with you. All right. But something here is definitely not feeling right with you, Pisces. And if you don't catch yourself, you're going to wreck yourself because you're going to go back. To what you've been going through. And I love you too much. And I don't want to tell you lies. I'll tell you the truth. I'm not, honey, let me tell you something. Do you know how many people I meet? And the first thing they say, I like the way you are. And I like that you're a happy person. Or, you know, you, you're just happy. Yeah, I'm a happy person. But is that what you like? And then I want to get to know you. I want to take you out. I'm not a kind of person to be out in the street. Does it? Okay, that's what you don't like to do. All right? But um, 
I'm a female baby, and I like to be taken out. I like to be acknowledged. Um, don't try to think for me, all right? I, I've been there, done that. I've been, I've been dealing with people all my life that are users. I'm, de I'm tired of dealing with even my own people, you know, that play with me and thought that they could play games until I showed them right from wrong. Okay, so I don't really get down with too many people. I like to be alone. I like to enjoy my own self. I like to travel alone. I like to see things alone. And if you ask another person about that, they swear to God you're going to travel to go to bed with people. I'm real particular about people. I don't go to bed with just anybody. Everybody don't turn me on. Okay, people don't turn me on like that. If you're the kind of person that people turn on, that easy, something wrong with you, honey. Something is definitely wrong with you. If you got to go on these sites to get a man, something wrong with you, boo-boo. I'm not beat like that. I'm not beat, honey. I don't go no sites. And I don't think it's nothing wrong. If that's what you like, that's your business. But um, handle yourself with respect, damn it. Stop just going for anything and everything because they tell you you look good or you pretty or this and that. Honey, there's a reason why they're telling you all this. There is a reason why these people... Tell you what they telling you. They're not just saying things to you to make you feel good. They telling you things, um, you know, they let you know uh what they can get. It's like they want to easy talk you to get you where they want you to be, and then all hell's gonna break loose, okay? Um, watch out with the bad habits, drugs, addiction, toxic shit. Alright, be careful with people you you wanna be around, what they do. And how they entertain themselves and others. Be careful you don't fall into people's addictions and, you know, what they like to do. Be careful about that. All right? Because if you don't know yourself, you're capable of falling into a lot of bullshit of uh, habits. Other people are habits. All right? So, Pisces, if you need a reading from me or somebody else, get it. Because, you know, I don't hate on nobody, honey. If you don't like me, then get it from somebody else, okay? Um, if you're here to be nosy, then be nosy. What the fuck? All right? But just know one thing, baby. Um, I'm straightforward. And I'm glad I got that shit out because I had to say it like it is. Do not fall in love with me if you a woman like me because I don't do that. Okay? Please stop it. It's annoying. All right? Very annoying. And I try to be nice. But, um... It's like you push me to the limit of getting really nasty, okay? And I mean nasty. And I don't mean nasty as doing something with you. I mean nasty with attitude. Stop it. I don't give you no, no way of thinking I want to get with you, go out with you, nothing like that. So, my, I, I'm, you know what? Let me say something. If anybody... That thinks I'm playing with them. And get a reading from me. And I know you weird like that. You're not going to get no reading from me. I'm not going to answer you. I'm going to delete you. Block you. Okay. Because that's not what I'm about. Please stop. Okay. So. I don't know how else to say it. Okay. Please. Do some respect. And respect yourself. And respect other people that are, like, that are not like you. Because I'm not like you. I don't get down like that. And I'm trying to be nice. And anytime I talk about it like this, it's because I'm sick of it. And tired of putting up with the bullshit. Alright? So, anybody knows when I come on here and I get like that, it's because I had enough of enough. Now, Pisces, as I was saying, don't let nobody take advantage of you. And please stop looking back at the darkness. All right? Because you need to take the um, lantern and look forward. All right? And at the end of the tunnel, you're going to get what you want. But you need to be patient with yourself. And you need to take time for yourself. And love yourself. And nurture yourself. And worry about getting ahead. And stop worrying about what is exciting and how bored I am. And I need this and I need that. Think about it, Pisces. Damn, when are you going to get out of it? This delusional world. You know, we come into areas. And when we came into areas, I told y'all, 
Aries bring everything to the front line so that you can see not being in a delusional world. You come down here where you're not delusional, where you see things for what it really is. That's what Aries was about when you were supposed to, when I kept telling you, Aries season is not the play. Aries season is going to bring everything to your face. I told y'all that. But for some reason, some of y'all just can't help yourself. Okay? Come on, Pisces. Get it together because I know you can do it. All right? Give yourself some loyalty, some respect, some loving yourself. Tell yourself how much you love yourself. And then things will be so much easier. Because love is love and you can find a real love in a real person. And it don't have to be in a negative way. Okay? It's got to be right. And nothing in life is always peaches and cream. But it's not like where somebody's ignoring you, somebody is not answering your calls or your texts, um, somebody's ghosting you, somebody's shortchanging you. I mean, if, 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 you know what I mean? Like somebody don't want you to meet their family, somebody took forever for you to even meet their kids, like you don't know how they live, you don't know too much about them. Come on, Pisces, get it right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.